you have a lot of great opportunities to use the environment to really set the animal apart or frame the animal. Now, you can do something really fun, like actually just hold an empty picture frame in front of the animal, or you can look at what their environment is. Like you can frame them in their dog bed, or maybe they're laying in their front of their dog house, and the opening of the door sort of frames the animal. It's kind of a frame within a frame. So uh, always kind of keep those things in mind when you're looking for interesting portraits of your pet. And... I have a whole basket of props, some of them much more photographic than others, but you can find something that really suits your animal, like this cute little doggy bone may tell a story about your animal, or if you're photographing a kitty, or maybe the doggy likes the mouse too, but you can use different props and things to have fun with your animal. You can also have some fun. Now, not all clients are going to go for something like this, but it might be cute to put a little boa around your pet or, uh, you know, dress them up if they're game. Right, Mika? Do you want to dance? <laughs> but you can get some interesting pictures by using the props or, you know, changing out the backgrounds and things to set a certain mood.